So we're going to attempt to move them to a permanent location now since it's going to get nicer out today. Uh, you can see that they've been trying to shove their poop and their dead bees out of these screens that I made to keep them here for the two days they've been in the garage. Uh, hopefully this whole Poor thing worked guys. out. Uh, I have a plan. So, Jeff, you're not zipped up all the way. Oh yeah, that's that's a good call. Right before work, you, this is like ten minutes before you have to leave for work. We're doing this really quick. Yep. So, hopefully, we can get this button on. I'm going to ratchet strap these boxes tight so that hopefully the boxes don't come apart while I'm moving them and we don't get stung. We had the wood burner on for a couple days. We let it start going down now. It's going to be warm enough today, what, in the 50s? Yes, maybe 55 so in the sun today. They need to go outside. They're not supposed to be in here long. Oh my. Do you want me to get the strap for you? Uh, I got it. Here. You got it? Yeah. Exactly how this is gonna work. The cold really does make a difference. They're not buzzing, even though we're right next to them right now. Yeah, that does make a difference. They're not giving us dirty looks from inside the hive or anything like that. So later on today, while Jeff's at work, I'm going to replace this this little piece right here, this wooden piece, with a entrance reducer so they don't have the screen and they're blocking them anymore. Here we go, you ready? Let's crook it a little bit. Just trying to get this done. Duh, I'm thinking of the bad. Smaller ratchet, this would be easier. It's still not tight. I'm trying to reverse this. There we go. Now I got it. I got it on the wrong. Oh, jeez. You can take your gloves off. They're really not gonna. Do you want to take your gloves off for a second so you have control? No, it's okay. I got it on backwards, I think. Is so bad. Good morning. As you can tell, I'm not very good at any of this. Oh yeah, it's getting good now. Okay, let's try it this way. You really want to ratchet it? You just want to go for it? No, 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 no. I picked these boxes up before without any bees in them, and they slide around a ton. There's nothing stopping them from sliding around from side to side, etc. I really don't want that to happen while I'm carrying them. That will not end well. Doesn't matter the temperature. Just don't do it too tight. It's gonna. Yeah. Okay. I just want to verify. That, yeah, the box is ink gonna slide around while I'm moving. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna pick it up from the back. And I have to keep it as level as I can because. Don't let that drag. You could trip on yeah, that. Yeah, this top feeder has liquid in it. I don't want it splashing through the top and getting the bees wet because it is very cold. My luck, I'd get the queen wet and she'd die. Okay. It's not really heavy, it's just trying to keep it as flat as possible. We had four inches of snow, now it's starting to melt. Test the grass. Yeah, definitely don't go down the steep part. And take the long way around. Oh, dear. Is that heavy? No. Nerve wracking. I'm only holding my fear. <laughs> Imagine if 10,000 spiders was in this box. Nope. What? Do you hear them? It's hard for me to hear it with the snow country. No, I don't hear it. Oh, okay. You made a face. I can hear it. Sweet home, girls. I need you to down the fence somewhere. These bees. 
are so angry after you transport them. We know enough to know that we're going to wait to switch out that entrance reducer once they calm down a little bit. Well, let's down a little bit. We're going to fix that, but yeah. great thing to me. All this new mulch made the snow kind of bad. Yeah. Just trying to get back. Okay, go. Make sure I don't get stuck. You're good. You're good. Yeah, I go on the low one right here. All right, can you help me lower it? Yep, yep. Oh my, they are not happy. Okay. <sighs> good job. <laughs> well, I need to back it up. Good job, babe. There's one. It's going to be 70 and sun in a few days. And we got this. It's crazy. Right, As I've been loading the fire for a few days, here and there, every time I came in, if you came up to the B screen and just made noise and buzz, the whole box would hum really loud. It's kind of hilarious. They're gonna remember your face. They remember your smell. They are gonna remember me. And I'm gonna yeah. be wearing my suit. <laughs> Not when you're gardening and stuff. See, watch this. It's too easy, but it's too cold right now. It's too cold for them to get now, upset. Just get, wait till later. They'll be in the yard, mind your own business. They'll recognize you. Started with them. All right. Gives me anxiety. <coughs> okay. Earthquake check. See how it moved? It's not tight enough. It is way too cold for them to do anything. Yeah, I just don't want the box sliding while I'm carrying it. I don't want yeah. it crooked and bees start crawling on me. Even though they can't fly, I can still crawl. Thanks for carrying them. No How much do you think they weigh? 30, 40 pounds maybe? It's just bulky, right? It's just it's awkward. Just heavy. And it's front heavy, too. Yeah, it's awkward weight. It did get heavy last time, so I'm going to speed up the pace this time. I'm just going to go down this way. Just be careful. Daisy dug a hole in the grass, you know. Yeah, well. A good one. <laughs> Make You're passing it. Job, job. You want to make it straighter? Here. There, you go. there you go. Let's go. This one's sticking over the wood a little bit more, the frame. So while you're at work, I have to remove these? Yes. Yeah. 